Hi, I'm Rob and I'm going to talk about the music course available at Sirencester College. So, first of all, it is a BTEC course, not an A-level, so there are no exams. Um, it's all uh, assessed on coursework, um, except for one unit which is externally assessed by the examiner, and that's based on the music business industry, so they will set you a task um, to test your knowledge on that. Uh, apart from that, it's all pretty much uh, assessed through the college. So, uh, the actual course uh, entails you learning all about the different music genres from 50s to present day and you learn all about the stylistic traits so chord sequences, rhythms, harmonies, that sort of thing. Um, you do pretty much um, a lot of practical work in groups so you learn all about the difficult different the, the, you learn all about the different aspects of Motown, for example, and what are the typical stylistic traits of that. And then you have to rehearse a particular track or two of that genre in your groups. So you get a lot of opportunity to practice in uh, various groups um, throughout the, the course. There's a theory and harmony unit which helps with understanding your knowledge of the stylistic traits uh, but also it will develop your musical understanding for example uh, what melodies you could write over a certain chord sequence and vice versa in various keys uh, chord extensions how to understand lead sheets so you write your own chord sequences you compose melodies and you learn how to improvise and this is where one unit called sessions or session styles is uh, very very uh, good for that um, because all the theory that you learn you can then put into practice and then you can improvise over chord sequences um, in fact there's a task for a taster session on just improvising over a blues sequence uh, which is available also on the uh, link okay so the audition that you have to attend involves you learning a song uh, we send you the song just to show that you can um, learn a song and play along with people so you learn it and prepare a solo section whether that be scatting vocally or improvising the words if you're a guitarist for example or a sax player then you learn a solo that will work with that song uh, and uh, you just come in and play along with us um, to show that you can play along in time and you've learned the song um, obviously at the moment that might not be possible to come into college so if that's the case we will send you a song to learn and you learn it film yourself on a phone webcam whatever and send it to us and that's how we can assess you on that um, so that's pretty much it uh, it's a very very good fun course it's very well equipped we have three rehearsal spaces that are all sort of sound treated and, and uh, soundproofed uh, reasonably uh, with a recording studio attached to one of them so we can record you uh, in a professional environment 24 analog channel mixing console uh, Mac Pro computer with Pro Tools HD which is industry standard uh, it's uh, yeah, a great place, a great environment to rehearse and develop your music skills. Okay, the BTEC is the equivalent of one A level. It is an extended certificate, so it's a two year course. So you sign up for two years and you get a whole two years to develop your skills, which is great. Um, it's The point system is the same as A level, so if you get an A grade at A level, you get a distinction at BTEC, same points. A star, D star, or distinction star, exactly the same. So if you're applying to university, uh, BTEC is totally fine, it's accepted by most universities. I say most, um, I think even Oxford and Cambridge now are accepting BTEC. But if you're doing a music degree, unless you're doing classical and you want to do popular music and jazz, then you're more likely to get on it with a BTEC because they really do show you the skills that you need in the real world of music as a um, modern musician. So it really does set you up for the next stage in your education. This task is on improvising over a 145 chord sequence. It's in B flat, so chord one. B flat chord four, E flat chord five, F back to chord one. Now we teach you how to use extensions. Uh, some of you may already know this, but extended chords are things such as sevenths and ninths, which you can add to this if you want, um, rather than just just sticking on the straight major. Play around with sevenths at least. Now. 
what we teach you is how to write these chords out, how to uh, write a lead sheet so you can then write melodies above it, uh, whether it be a songwriting task or in this case improvising so you just know what chord sequence to use and what you're going to use to improvise over it. So to improvise over this, over a B flat blues, <laughs> You could use the pentatonic scale, or the minor pentatonic scale in B-flat. Singers do the same. Um, and if you want to use the blue scale, which is adding the flattened fifth, that one. Now you can play that for the whole 1-4-5 sequence, as I'll demonstrate in the um, next clip, just as an example with a backing track. Uh, in the backing track you'll find a link to um, on this page. And what I do is I play around with the pentatonic scale, I also play around with licks based on a mixolydian mode, which is the fifth mode uh, of a major scale. B flat you could use the E flat. So you can take licks of it. So don't just play the scales. It's boring. Whereas if you take a little lick, for example, take like and repeat on the next chord and you can use all these licks over one four and five now what you can do is for the example this lick is just using a um, slide or a hammer on or a slide if you're a vocalist ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da -ba. So you can play around with those ideas. Uh, the idea is to take a lick and just repeat it, repeat notes, rather than just playing scales. The, re the repeated note I play here, or the repeated lick, that's just going from in B and playing the third, but sliding from the minor third to the major third. And then add in a few blue notes uh, from the blue scale. And then again on the E flat. So starting on the third of the E flat, which is G, and the minor third sliding up to it, G flat to G. So it's third, fifth, sixth root. And then sometimes um, I'll play around with just the blue scale over the whole thing. And then other times I might adapt further and play around with more modes for real advanced players that are aware of modes and I'm playing around with either the mode based on the B flat Dorian or the B flat Mixolydian depending on uh, the flavour I want. Um, this is a little bit more advanced, just something to come on to for those that are listening to my improvisation. Hey, he's playing more than the uh, blues scale there, which yes, I am at times, but you know, again, um, I can't resist. Uh, but you can stick with just the minor pentatonic or the blues scale with this. Um, one more thing, I do sometimes play around on the chord five uh, on the turnaround when it just goes back from the. Um, <laughs> That time round on the last, I sometimes go on the to the F rather than playing the F. I will play an F sharp diminished, and then finish on the F. And then finish on the B flat resolves. There are loads of things you can do. Um, you can make it as simple or as complicated as you like. It's great fun just around this. <laughs> Enjoy. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs>